Hey, hi everyone, welcome to the video. So today in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about the Postman uh, version 10 release, okay? So Postman has recently launched the uh, version 10. So this is a Postman release notes uh, one they have given. So, I mean, in the version 10, they have introduced a lot of uh, uh, new features. So, I mean, uh, earlier also I have said the block about the same. So API platform, uh, native Git support also they are bringing and uh, they have integrated the test automation which means uh, you can run your postman collection uh, through the new man uh, in the postman app itself right so earlier like uh, we were exporting the collection and we are running from the terminal so now in the postman app itself uh, like you can run your collections uh, right to function integration testing everything and uh, the postman cli also introduced and you can do the integrated uh, leaning ci cd system also it support all this most of the ci cd pipeline that is available today Okay, and there are a lot of few more changes. So I, I just want to share the couple of uh, uh, testing related thing. So which is integrated test automation uh, where you can run your Postman collections uh, through the Postman CLI itself. Okay. So normally we'll go to collections and when you uh, open the collections and if you go for run collections, uh, here you can see, uh, usually it will come as a run manually button, right? So my, my Postman current version is 10. I got uh, updated to the version 10, okay? So as soon as you can, uh, I mean, you get the uh, version 10 update, please do the update. And here you can see the button called automate uh, run via CLI, correct? So when you select this option, so first thing uh, you have to download the Postman CLI, which is a part of this uh, version 10 release, right? So they have recently launched the Postman CLI option. So to install the Postman CLI, I mean, uh, there are uh, respective operating system. So you can go for a, uh, as per your operating system. So mine is Windows. Uh, so for Windows, uh, just copy this command and you can go to the terminal and you can run them. So once you run that command, uh, here you can see the Postman CLI has been installed, right? So after installation, uh, this is a Postman CLI command option that is available. So if you want to make sure the Postman is installed, so you can simply type Postman hyphen version or hyphen B, anything is fine. So now it will come the Postman CLI version, which is 1.0. Okay, so here you can see, uh, it returned the version of the number of the Postman CLI. Okay, so after this, uh, by using the CLI command, uh, you can log into the Postman with, with your API key that is given for your particular account. So you can you can generate the API key in the, in the Postman account, then you can use them for login and logout also. And there are other options where you can run your collections as well. So now with this example, we are going to run our this uh, our collection. This is a collection file which I have. So when I run manually, this is working fine. Okay, I mean the collection is running fine. Okay. So now uh, again I am going to the new run. Okay. So I am going to select as a automate uh, via CLI. Okay. So I have already downloaded and installed the CLI. So now I have to add the API key. So the API key is simple. Uh, what you can do, you can generate the key. Otherwise, you can use the existing key that is already being generated. So to generate the key, uh, I mean, you have to just go to your profile account. So in the profile, you can go to your API keys. And here you can see the API key. Okay, so I'm going to generate my uh, new API key. So this is my key. I am just copying the key. And I can go back to the postman. And I click on the use existing key. Okay, so I just pasted my key. I'm just inserting. So now it is very easy what we can do. We can copy this. Okay, the entire command and can copy and you can go to the terminal. And you can simply paste this command. Okay, so the first command would be login, right? So that is what we have seen here. So when you use the uh, Postman CLI, the first one is you have to log in with your API key. So that is what the first command it is. Okay, so log in with the API key, which is successfully. This is my username. So after this, this is a collection command. You can see here. So login is happening with the API key along with this postman run. This is a collection ID. So when I put on enter, it has to run. Yeah. So here you can see the, the execution started. So here is the collection. My collection name is new collection. Under this, I have new request one and I have new request two as well. So I have written some test cases which is getting failed. So the CLA has, I mean, successfully updated. So now you can view the data by going to this particular URL. Okay. 
So now uh, you can view the, the data. So I'm just copying this particular command. I mean, the URL. So you can go to this website. I mean, that is not, I mean, not a website. This is just a workspace uh, where you get created from the postman. And you can see the report of uh, your execution. So that is what we are going to see now. So this is the results. So when you run from the when you run from this manually, you can see uh, I'm running it from the collection runner via Postman. So you can see the changes are happened. So here you can see the runner environment is nothing, iteration one and all the test, coverage, response time, everything. Right. The same thing it is available when you run through the CLI mode option as well. Okay. And here you can see this is called automated run. Okay. So using the Postman CLI, you can run and the integrate CI CD also you can run. So these are the new options that, that is, uh, I mean, uh, Postman has introduced as a part of person 10. And they have written the, uh, all the features about the person 10 in the detailed, uh, all the, all the detailed features in their Postman website. I will give you that uh, link in the, uh, the video description. Okay. So now it is easy. You can, you don't want to go for a terminal to open and run the Postman collection, the Neiman. So they have integrated with this, uh, same, uh, Postman app itself. So now again, you can go for a new run and you can select the same thing and you can, you can do the repeated activities. Okay. So that's all about this video. Thank you. Thanks.